so today I'm going to be sharing my very first tip for Tippy Tuesday. And this tip might seem like very simple, almost too simple and kind of obvious, but this is definitely going to work for those of you who struggle with your concealer creasing, especially underneath the eyes. This tip will ensure that does not happen anymore. And the best part is you can also use this little trick around your mouth if you do get like laugh lines from your foundation. This tip will also help with that. The things that you're going to need for this little, little trick to work is, of course, your foundation. That's going to be the base. You can use any foundation you like. You're also going to need your concealer. You're also going to need loose setting powder. Again, you can use any brand as long as it is loose powder. And last but not the least, you're going to need a beauty sponge. I prefer the beauty blender, but again, you can use any beauty sponge that you have. Just make sure it is wet. It has to be wet for this trick to actually work. And that's really it. And now let's get right into what you actually have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation first. And today I'm gonna be using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Syracuse. And I haven't used this in so long and I used to love this foundation. But I'm just going to kind of dab this all over my skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. You can use any foundation or any beauty tool you have to, of course, do this step. Okay, so I just brought you guys in a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better this way. But now I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer and today I'm gonna be using the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger, which is also one of my favorites. And I'm going to apply this directly underneath my eyes. And you guys know I always do this like upside down V or triangle shape. So I'm just going to do that and I am adding a little bit more concealer than I normally do because I want you guys to see that this technique works even if you add a ton of product. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to press this into my skin. I really recommend using the beauty blender for your concealer because I feel like it really already does like half of the work for you because it really really presses and pushes the product into your skin and it almost becomes part of your skin when you use a beauty blender. Now it is time to set the concealer and for that I'm going to be using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Again, you can use any translucent powder. You just have to make sure it is a loose powder. So I'm just taking some on my lid and I do want to get a good amount of it on my beauty blender. And then just make sure that there is no existing like creases at all. If there are, just quickly go ahead and blend it out with your beauty blender. And then you're going to go ahead and take your setting powder and just lightly press it underneath the eyes where you had your concealer and this is just going to set it if there are any like leftover or existing creases this technique also fills those in and ensures that new creasing doesn't happen throughout the day you can also use this same technique just get like the translucent powder on the tip of your beauty blender and if you get laugh lines just add some where your smile lines are and press that into place before, of course, the laugh lines or the smile lines form. And that is really it for this technique. You can go ahead and finish the rest of your makeup as you normally would with your powder, contour, blush, highlight, whatever you put on top, you can go right on top of this. I do quickly want to show you guys um, the comparison with this side and this side. Hopefully my camera will pick it up, but you guys can clearly see that I did not set this side as of yet. And here is my concealer creasing. Of course, it will crease a lot more if I don't set it even more. And whoa, that beauty blender just picked up all of that concealer. But anyway, this side, you can also see that there is no creasing whatsoever. And this is how it should stay for the rest of the day. So this was a really quick, easy, tippy Tuesday tip. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to follow me on all of my social media and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks and try Tuesday and a lot of other videos. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.